world you live in is just a sugar-coated topping. Me, no, you s*** this. You tell him it's open season on all suckheads. Some mother is always trying to ice skate up here. Hello and welcome to another issue of the Headless Hammerhead Guide. Today the we're going to be continuing more. our series on the power sets for the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game. And today we're going to be discussing the melee powers. So if you're not familiar, melee weapons are those used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Not thrown, not fired, nothing like that. Usually close range hand-to-hand -hand combat. So these can go hand-in-hand -hand with iconic weapon. So characters like Wolverine, um, Gambit with his bow staff, even Blade with his sword, they all have melee weapons that are used in hand-to-hand -hand combat and these are iconic weapons for all of them and they also use of these weapons would fall under the melee weapons powers. Iconic weapon is not part of this power set, it is actually in the basic powers set but again it fits well into this power set. So upon selecting a weapon that is a melee weapon, you have to select whether it's going to be blunt or sharp because blunt have a special effect where it stuns a target for one round if you get a fantastic roll and sharp will cause them to bleed. Sugar -coated topping. Now if you wanted to use a shield as your melee weapon, there's a special power set for just for shields, which we already discussed in a prior video. In any case, the powers for melee weapons is exploit, fast attacks, Focus Fury, Furious Attacks, Hit and Run, then you have Repulsed, Unstoppable Assault, Vicious Attack, and Whirling Frenzy. There's nine powers in total, and let's get to it. Exploit is the first one, and it's of course the melee weapons power set. Prerequisites, Vicious Attack, Rank 2. It's a reaction, and a trigger would be a fantastic success on an attack. Using the character's weapon, that deals at least one point of damage, and it's an instant duration with a cost of five focus. So this is an excellent supplemental power, especially when you land a fantastic roll and you use it with another power like Vicious Attack. You basically make a melee attack against their resilience defense score. And if it's a success, it ignores health damage reduction. And with a fantastic success, they get double damage plus the special weapons effect, whether that's stun or bleed. This is how, if you watch my prior videos, this is how Wolverine was able to one-shot the Mandarin. This was one of the ways that he added damage to that hit. This is an excellent power. It's very, very powerful, very strong, very useful, and can put an end to a fight in no time flat. It's really great. Next, we have fast attacks. It's uh, no prerequisites, standard action, instant duration, so pretty straightforward there. And basically, you're gonna split your attacks to make two close attacks against separate targets, or you can do two attacks against a single target. You roll once and compare to everyone's melee defenses success they take half regular damage if it's split between two um on a fantastic success they take full damage you can make a bonus attack with this power against another enemy within reach for the same effect this does not say that it cannot be used on the same target twice so you if you keep getting lucky you can keep nailing this person with a bunch of attacks and really put an end to the battle very very quickly so combined especially with exploit you've got a very very deadly combination here then we've got Focus Fury, prerequisites exploit and rank three. Action is standard, duration is instant, cost is five or more focus. So basically you're gonna make an attack with an edge, which is great. And you add plus one to the melee damage for every two points of focus you spend. So you can spend up to your maximum um, limit uh, according to the book. On a success, they take the total damage. On a fantastic success, they take double damage and they suffer the weapon special effect. This is a good way to add a little extra damage, but again, it's just to the damage, not to the damage multiplier. So, it's, especially with the limitation of how much um, focus you can use on any given move, then this could end up being a waste of a power if you have something better lined up. Now, before you take this power, listen to what I have to say about Furious coming up next. Furious attacks, uh, prerequisites, Whirling Frenzy, rank three, standard action, instant duration, cost is 10 or more focus. And this, you split your attack. Uh, again, you make two close attacks against separate targets and you make a single melee check for that. You compare it to their melee defenses. You add plus one for every two points of focus you spend, similar to the one we just discussed. On a success, they take half total damage. On a fantastic success, they take full damage and suffer the weapon special effect. The only difference between this and 
Focus Fury is that this allows you to attack multiple targets. Focus Fury only allows a single target. This and Focus Fury have very similar prerequisites, so I would avoid Focus Fury and just go with this one. It, it's a better power, it does the same thing, but has more range because you can target multiple targets. Hit and run, very simple, no prerequisites, standard action, instant duration. Two extremely great things with this power. One, it gives you an edge on your attack. And second, if it's a success, you can make an additional movement up to half your run speed for free. So you get free movement and an edge on your attack. On a fantastic success, they take double damage and suffer the weapon special effect. Repose, you have no prerequisite. Reaction as the act, type of action. Trigger is if an enemy makes a close attack against your character and fails with that attack, and it's an instant duration. Basic gist here is if an enemy swings and misses at you, you can do a reactionary attack against them for free. And they'll take regular damage on a success. On a fantastic success, they take double damage, suffer the weapon special effect. I would definitely take this power, especially with no prerequisites. It is a great power to have and a no-brainer. Unstoppable Assault. Fierce Attacks, Focus Fury, and Rank 4 are the prerequisites. Standard Action, Instant Duration, and a cost of 15 Focus or more. Now, you make a melee check against your enemy melee defense of all the enemies within your reach, and your attack succeeds against any enemy. They take half regular damage on a fantastic success. They take full regular damage instead and suffer the weapon special effect. And there is a bonus. You can pay 15 more focus to do the same thing again. So basically you move up to half your movement speed with whatever's left of your movement and do it again against any other enemies. So if you pair this up with a power like speedrun one, where your run speed is multiplied by your rank, you get all this extra movement and you can technically clear the whole board just by yourself, as long as you have enough focus to spend. So this is like the power called smash which I think is one of the strongest powers in the game. Um, only this is with your melee weapon. Vicious attack, no prerequisites, standard action, instant duration. And what it does is you make a close attack. If the attack is a success, enemy takes regular damage. On a fantastic success, they take double damage and suffer the weapon special effect. Nothing special about this power. It's a waste of a power slot. I would take something else within this power set other than vicious attack, for example, like repost or exploit, much better choices than this. The only thing this gives you is you get to use your weapon special effect, but only if you get a fantastic success, not worth it. Whirling Frenzy, you have fast attacks and rank two as the prerequisites, standard action, instant duration, and the cost is five focus. So what it does, it you make a melee check and compare it against the melee defense of every enemy within your reach. And if it's a success, they each take half damage. On a fantastic success, they each take full damage and suffer the weapon special effect. This is great. It kind of takes it a step above fast attacks in that you can attack every enemy, not just two, but fast attacks also has the bonus attack on a fantastic roll. So they are two different powers, very similar, but they each have something different that makes them unique. And I would say both of them are worth it. And there you have it, knocked out another video with my bow staff. Hope you got something out of this video, I know I always do. If you did, and you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, hit, give me a like. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Uh, all criticism is welcome because they all help me to make better videos. But be sure to leave a comment with details because a thumbs down alone doesn't really tell me what it is you didn't like about the video so and if you have something positive to say also please leave me a comment also make sure to hit the notification bell and to subscribe because this way you will not miss any of my future videos i'm extremely grateful for your support thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one sugar coated topping